once more my heart will go on. And oddly enough, so does season six. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 17 of Supernatural season six. My heart will go on, and I will be honest, I am actually also very surprised by this episode. For an alternate reality episode that starts off pretty quick, I will say that they do a very good job of integrating in a completely sort of different reality to the one that we're used to, but it comes off quite seamless. I, I will give the writing credit while you start off with the episode thinking that it is the current day reality that we're used to, it's very quick on that once we find out that Ellen's alive and that things are different, when we go back to Sam and Dean, they're acting exactly the same. They're acting as though it's normal. That's when I feel that the episode really does a good job of integrating in this alternate reality in which Balthazar saved the Titanic. Oh, yeah, the Titanic, yes. Well, uh, it was meant to sink and I saved it. And at first you thought he did it because he hated the song. Because that god-awful Celine Dion song made me want to smite myself. Who's Celine Dion? But as we go through the episode and we start to see that people who are now alive because of events changed being killed off by fate, there is actually ulterior motives going on that being Castiel and his battle with heaven. I actually thought this episode had a lot of really funny humor in it. It has some heartwarming elements. I really like seeing Ellen back and seeing her with Bobby was a really cool idea. It was unfortunate we couldn't get Joe back, but I think with what they are trying to get you to grasp onto, I think just having Ellen there was enough and it's done quite seamlessly. Seeing fate take these guys out in ways that are straight out of Final Destination. The first guy that they get killed, or the dude who gets killed by the garage door, that is straight out of Final Destination. Should he admittedly have died so clumsily to the golf balls? Maybe that was a bit of a stretch because honestly, when I hear a bunch of golf balls go on the floor, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. But other than that, I think this episode has a really flawless uh, alternate reality. And that's something that maybe might be a bit of a bad note for this show, or at least this season the best episodes have been the alternate reality episodes aside from a few here and there is a little bit detracting and that's something that i feel takes away points from the season overall is that not really story related episodes but alternate reality episodes are the ones that draw viewers back in and when you have to rely off of them so much that does detract but either way this episode still plays out pretty well and I like how it ends with that mystery of Castiel kind of wondering what his actual motivations are what is this conversation about the souls season six definitely has to jump back and forth between it's three different plot points that are going on because they can never really find one to settle with. We still have the mother going on, which I know that's gonna be solved very soon. And to see these other storylines take a back seat for Castiel's story here leads to some really cool humor, leads to some cool kills, and it leads to a mystery with one of our most trusted characters that really pulls you in. So in the end, I'm gonna give this episode a five out of seven. I actually really liked it. I think it was funny. I thought it was heartwarming. I liked how very seamless the alternate reality was. Even though it comes at quite a, like a snap to you, it, it does it really well in integrating it. I think one of the biggest points to definitely give is the writing in this episode. But those are my thoughts about this episode. Let's see what you guys had to say. My Heart Will Go On is a decent filler episode. I always laugh when they ask Balthazar, why did he unsink the Titanic? And he says, because I love the film. I agree. The Sisters of Fates are quite cool and reminded me of the Final Destination films of the accidents in which they die. Yes, definitely. Nice bit of foreshadowing towards the final, uh, giving us a hint about Castiel's war machine. Also cool to see Ellen again. My Heart Will Go On is one of my favorite Final Destination homages. Fun fact about the episode is the air date was the 99th anniversary of when the Titan Titanic sank. Coincidence? I think not. Another fun fact, that this is the only season where Sam and Dean travel internationally out of the United States more than one episode. First was in Scotland, the next arguably Canada in the alternate universe, and then this episode is in Russia. What? 
Oh, oh, I guess, yeah. I find it bizarre when the world's timeline is altered that Bobby and Ellen marry and they and have Joe as a kid. I would have loved and laughed if somehow Sam and Dean point out that John was a hunter before Mary and Mary became a hunter after as Azrael killed John instead. The iconic line would have been changed into mom's on a hunting trip and she hasn't been home in a few days. Yeah, though, there could have been that. It's fascinating upon rewatching this episode that the goddess of fate are irrelevant since Team Free Will uh, plugged the pulled the plug on the Judo Christian apocalypse and refers to God once having a script giving them a job and now the world is being retconned with new leaders and rules of the universe. Then we see the parallel uh, in the show Supernatural get retconned with new rules in the universe with the new showrunners in season six to fifteen. Coincidence? I think not. My heart will go on. This episode definitely reminds me of a Final Destination films because of the strange death, especially the one where the lawyer gets hit by a bus. I was totally shocked to see Ellen back and that she was married to Bobby. It sucks we didn't see Joe. I really enjoyed seeing Bobby and Ellen as a couple once again. Balthazar is just pure comedic gold in this episode, especially when he answers to Sam and Dean on the question of why he stopped the Titanic from sinking. I really liked Fate and the conversation between her and Castiel. I'm surprised that she never appears again in the show after this episode. And yeah, it actually is kind of interesting that Fate never came back considering her power but i have a feeling that might have been the reason why is because well you know you really couldn't have brought it up again otherwise they would have been able to use her as a crux for so many different things i don't know how the rest of you feel about how my heart will go on but for me this episode i used to hate but upon rewatching it i appreciate it so much more i love this episode i guess my problem with the first time i was watching was my leftover hatred for helen and i gotta say i was wrong i really liked her in this episode this is how i wanted ellen to be less condescending and more motherly towards the boys she provided them with some of the best emotional moments in this season and the last scene of Bobby being alone, man, the tears. Plus, the villain of this episode is from my Greek myth mythos, uh, Atropos. Oh, sorry if I totally butchered that. One of the three fates of Hades. I got to say, out of all the modern day updates to the character, I really like this simple librarian look. I prefer this over the go garbage god of war they gave us. My heart will go on. This is the one of the only two episodes in the series, as I'm far as I'm aware, where Sam loses the rock, paper, scissors to Dean. Also in season 11, season 13, Dean's only legitimate win in our own timeline. Took 11 seasons for it to happen. <laughs> this is the last time we will see Ellen in this show, although her spirit will send and Dean a message to a psychic in season seven. Kind of sad, but she gets a good send off here, even though it's off screen. Oh, wow. I didn't actually really realize that in terms of all the characters that would always come back and whatnot. I'm actually kind of surprised that Ellen never comes back. The conversation between Fate and Cass at the end, as well as Balthazar's actions, remind us that this, the supernatural world is now more unstable and insecure without the Archangel's plan, keeping us er, or everyone on a short leash. I'm surprised Fate never reappeared in the series, or that her f sisters were never introduced, especially given the reaching the writers did for the storylines in season 13 to 15. Always, though, there was a good potential story to be told here, uh, especially with Fate needing a job now. Would have been interesting to see her dealing with Crowley or Raphael in some fashion. I thought this was a decent, not one, not one of my favorite, but good. And I'm not sure how you rate it. See you soon. <laughs> oh, I did enjoy it. I, I think it's a decent episode for sure. My Heart Will Go On is not only one of my favorite season six episodes, it is one of my favorite Supernatural episodes. I love a good impending doom scene, so this episode had me from the pre-credit opener. I enjoyed the off-kilter, what the F-ness of the changes of the timeline, and who is the she the boys are referring to in the car, which is no longer baby, but a Mustang. I love the surprise when she turns out to be Helen, and she's married to Bobby, and Joe's alive too. I always love the one way or another tempting fate sequence. The gauntlet our boys go through never fails to amuse me. Angry dogs, chainsaw jugglers, the nail gun, oh yes. So much fun to watch. The idea that he'd help save the Titanic from being sunk because he didn't like the song is hilarious. It wouldn't be supernatural without the loss, and this one hurts. The what could have been with Ellen and Bobby made a little bit more bitter since Jim Beathers and Samantha Ferris work so well together. In that order, to make things right, Ellen and Joe can exist. It gets me every time. I agree, the ending of this episode is a very emotional heartbreaker. Okay, guys, now we have Frontierland. I actually will be able to tell you exactly where this set is, if I'm correct. But give me your guys' thoughts about that episode in the comments below, and I'll read those off in the next review. Till then, guys, if you liked the video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, 
See you guys next week.